Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. I want to come to you really quickly on Big Brother. This Let's just do a whole recap of this last week. I really want to just talk about where I think everyone stands right now in the game. If you all didn't know, last week, I got to put my thinking cap on. I want to say Thursday, Thursday after eviction episode, I was on Charles's YouTube channel. We did a live. It was me, Charles, Charles Warren, Jared, and myself. We did a live. We talked about so much. We talked about Big Brother, Survivor, CBS. We, we had a good time talking about the eviction episode. And that's where a lot of my two cents went for last week's review. I know not everyone may not know, when I go on Charles's channel, I don't have that 1,000 subscribers yet where I could put messages and stuff out on YouTube. You have to follow me on Twitter if you want to see what's going on when I go live. My Twitter is the same, Kiss My Cheeks TV. Um, so get on, go ahead and subscribe to Charles's channel. He does YouTube lives once or twice a week, I believe, every Monday and Thursday, sometimes Friday. Just follow his channel. You'll see when he goes live. And we usually go live right after the episode and talk about it if I go live with him. But he, I don't go live with him every week. He has an array of guests that does it with him. But go ahead and subscribe to his channel. If I'm extremely late, like I'm extremely late right now, that's why. I, I already talked about it on his channel. But for consistency of Kiss My Cheeks TV, I'm going to talk about it really quickly right now. For the most part, last week I was extremely bored. Like, wasn't last week they were giving us shots of Enzo's feet. They were giving us clips or segments of Enzo and Cody debating on if it's manly or unmanly to use a tea kettle. It, it They really don't have any content. Like, they gave us a good 30 minutes of a jury segment on a live eviction night. So it's not that much really going on with the house guests. It's not that uncommon because when you do get down to a smaller number of people, it does, that usually is when they put the spades and the uno out so they can <laughs> do something interesting because it's not as many people. But this cast to me, for it to be a all-stars, and you see what I'm doing with my fingers, an all-stars, has been very dry, has been very boring, has been very unexciting. I thought I was going to get live watching the telephone group go home week by week by week. But it's not that they aren't even giving me life with that. Like, they still aren't making any moves. So this was the week that Memphis went home. It was a little bit of a blindside, which I was happy Memphis got blindsided because he just knew this is why I set up two different wise guys. Because if I ever get in this predicament, one of the wise guys groups is going to save me. And it hurts me to say this. <laughs> I understand where Memphis has come from. Like to me, Memphis was the only one who was doing something within the game to try to win the game. Everyone else was right, is riding on Cody. Like, if Cody gets to the end, he's going to take me to the end. That's very much Nicole. That's very much Enzo. And that's very boring. Like, why are you dependent on Cody to get you to the end when... <sighs> Look, they got... I guess he brought their asses to the end, so it worked. But it, it could have backfired on you. But let's just get into this week. It really wasn't any gameplay it 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 bothered me and I think I already talked about it that Nicole won HOH and because she won HOH this it's not like you won an HOH when it was 15 to 10 house guests left you won an HOH when it's down to the final what five and I believe you won it because one of the best players in the house couldn't play because he was just HOH. Enzo threw it. I don't care what nobody say. 
And then the only reason you want it is because of the rules where if you drop one damn pumpkin, you got to start all the way over. And I already thought that was wrong. I felt like if you drop one, you should at least have to, okay, reset with that one. Or like if you pop two or four of them out, however many fell out your basket, you got to start all over. It's not right to have 25, 24 out of 25 pumpkins and you drop one and now you, because you're pretty much out. But Nicole could have dropped one too, so I guess, I don't know. But anyway, congratulations, girl. You won HOH. You was in there bitching, fussing, and crying over your man not telling you he was proud of you. Like, girl, maybe he not proud of you. <laughs> Did you ever think of that? I mean, <laughs> he told you every damn thing else, how much he loved you. He couldn't wait to marry you. He couldn't wait to be your husband. He done changed his whole identity to be, I guess, pleasing to you. I don't know. Victor does not even, they had that picture of Victor up in the HOH room. I didn't know who that was in the back of Nicole's bed. But anyway, girl, he has, and you spiraling. He done wrote you the nicest note and you spiraling because he didn't say he was proud of you. I can't stand Franzo. I really can't. I don't want her to win the game, but I really don't want anybody to win the game, but somebody got to. So from there, she wins the fucking BB comics. And I, I promise you, y'all could read me. Y'all could say, Angie, you tripping. But to me, anytime Big Brother does a competition where I can't see a rolling clock to where there is no proof, no real proof of who won, to me, they can put anybody there. Nicole was sliding slow as hell across that thing. It took her 11 minutes alone to get over why Janelle got to be a bombshell and she got to be the slop queen. And, and that should have told you something right there, Nicole. Every female in the house had a very sexy, bootylicious comic and you were in a damn slop atard with a big ass box on your head. Hey, Cheek. So that should have told you right there what CBS thinks of you. It, it took her 11 minutes alone to sit out there in the yard and pout and cry about that. So you telling me she did everything else in 11.07? Okay. All right. But she won veto. I'm going to quit saying production because people get upset when I say production wins. But Nicole won it and Memphis went home. It was some exciting things that could have went down like... I don't understand Enzo's game at all. It's kind of like, I got this idea, but if Cody says no, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Like, it would have been exciting. One, it would have been exciting to see Christmas go home and Nicole be blindsided that the person she did not want out the house went on over to Jury. That would have been exciting. But we ain't, because I would have liked to see Nicole cry about it, but we didn't get that. And I do think getting Memphis out of the house was the best move because Memphis had a good opportunity to win these final four and final three, you know, HOHs. So I, I ain't mad to see Memphis go. But then Enzo had the idea of let's make Nicole get some blood on her hands and let's make her, let's split the vote and make her have to pick who goes to jury. And I was like, Yes, let's make Nicole do that. Especially, let's make her do that on live TV. She'll be so friends like, oh, Memphis, I'm sorry to do this to you. But you, you know. And then Memphis would, I'm, Memphis probably wouldn't have been too blindsided by that because he knows he has nothing going on with Nicole. But Enzo couldn't even do that. It was kind of like, let me run it by Cody. What you think? And it seemed like Cody was down with it, but it seemed like as soon as, as soon as they get in the hallway and Enzo go like this, like, bro, what should we do? I knew it wasn't going to happen. I knew it wasn't going to happen. I knew Enzo, I knew Enzo was going to back out and just vote for Memphis and get no dirt on nobody's hands and it just be a simple ass week. I'm not talking about what Memphis and Julie was talking about because Julie, to me, did not ask Memphis the questions that I needed to know. What I needed to know that Julie should have asked on live TV, why were you so headstrong on getting David, the rookie, 
out of the house and not Nicole. And Nicole was the one sent your ass home. You, Because Memphis talking about, I wanted to work with people who I could kind of control, who I kind of can manipulate. I'm like, David would have been the easiest person. The easiest. He was in the house doing your laundry, washing your dishes. He just wanted to be your fucking friend. He, you could have easily, you could have easily had a Christmas and a David that you could manipulate on your team. But anyway, I, I ain't, you won't see a tear come out of these eyes that Memphis went to the jury. I just want to see the segment of him entering the house. It will be hilarious. I hope everyone chuckles their asses off. Now, moving on to what's next. This is going to be a spoiler. I'm getting ready to talk about who I know the new HOH is, who won the veto, and what I would like to see. But I probably am not... I'm not going to get to see what I would like to see, but let's just talk about it. So if you don't want to know, because Big Brother does not come on until tomorrow, Monday, click off now. But anyway, so it was hilarious that Kaser got to come back and do a little video saying this is the HOH for my season. Did he win it? He won that HOH. King Kaser, like... They was already trying to read people in, when they saw the BB comics. And Cody was hating that Kaser was King Kaser. And Cody was some kind of tornado. And he was like, yeah, I'm the Califuri. And you get in my way, you get dealt with. And I'm like, really? Who was really in your way? Everyone has been trying to work with you. Who have you really dealt with? What he was, Cody, what's going to be fucked up is Cody's going to win this season. I, I just see it. And what is going to be fucked up is the ego of him thinking he really did something. Like, he, I can't name one game move Cody made. Cody positioned himself with the help of Derek, I heard. Everyone is reading you on Twitter like Derek won the season because Derek was the one who put your alliance together. Check that. But um, Cody is going to leave this house as a winner, thinking that he is, oh, I won All-Stars. I'm this amazing player. You can't mess with me. His ego <laughs> is going to be so delusional. He's going to have a hard time. He's, Twitter is going to give him a hard time. I ain't going to say nothing to you. Go ahead. Think you spun through the house like the Tasmanian devil. Okay, do, do you. I ain't seen you. I haven't even seen Cody really talk to anybody. <sighs> Let's move on from that because everyone is delusional. Everyone is delusional. Uh, I forgot who Enzo was trying to read, but um, I think he said something about Davon is daydreaming through the house. Like, and I'm like, why are you saying I? I I ain't gonna I ain't gonna touch on that too much because I 100% believe production told them in those confessionals things little slick things to say because it didn't even some of the stuff they were saying like you could tell when people were hating when friends was hating on janelle that was true <laughs> like she was really upset and crying that janelle was a bombshell and she was a slobbertard and cody really felt some kind of way about king caser i don't know why but whatever look but let's move on so it's some kind of chess game, HOH competition where you, I'm curious to how Enzo won it because the competition requires brains. Like it's a thinking competition and everyone in the house was looking like, damn, I guess it was a toss up. It could have been any mean mo because it seemed like no one really understood how to play. So I can't wait to see how they play this. But Enzo wins it. Enzo wins the competition. Enzo is safe. He's definitely going to the final three. Congratulations, Enzo. What, what kind of... He can't even claim a move this week because it's not up to you. It, the only way you can really claim a move this week is if you win the veto and you, name, you get to name the person that you want to make the final vote out. But... He don't win the veto, so it's nothing really you can claim. You just you just claimed a week of safety. That's about it. I have no clue what the final four veto was. I have no clue who the nominations are. But I do know one thing for sure. 
that Cody wins the veto. And I'm going to just say production. I, I think production got shook. They probably was like, damn, Enzo wants something smart. But, um, <laughs> and it was like, whatever the veto is, we got to make sure our boy Cody gets it. Now, okay, let's set up the table. So Enzo is safe. Cody is safe. Christmas and Nicole are on the block. Cody is the one who has to make the choice. We've already heard, you know, the wall yeller. Cody and Nicole have a final two. They're working together. For whatever reason, nobody heard the wall yeller but the people on the live feed. Like, the people in the house, they ain't hear it, I guess. Or they just don't want to believe it. How can you not believe it and their asses are sitting here protecting each other? <laughs> Move on, Angie. What would make me cheer for Cody winning the game is if he slashed Franzel's throat right here on Thursday night. Like, say, Franz, you won, bye. Because Cody can beat Christmas, Cody can beat Enzo, easy, easy. The only thing is Christmas would, if by chance Christmas won the final HOH, she wouldn't take Cody. That's the only hurdle in his way if he slashes Nicole's throat in the final four. So I believe Cody is going to slash Christmas's throat. Christmas is going to the jury because Cody knows if even by chance if Franz or Enzo wins the final HOH, all everybody bring in Cody. Everybody bring in Cody. And it, I really believe if Cody wins the final HOH, he's just going to bring Enzo because Enzo did nothing. And Nicole can say, I'm a winner and you all let me get here. I feel like, let's, let's just have some conversations in the comments. Do you think if, I, I just don't see Cody getting rid of Nicole. So let's just say Christmas is gone. Christmas is gone. Now, if he slashes Franzel's throat, he, I will, I will want him to win the game. I will cheer for him. I will have my fingers crossed for him. Like, Cody, you can do this. You can win it. But if he, I don't think he's going to slash Franzel's throat. I think he's going to save her. So, it's still a toss-up. I don't really don't care. Let's talk about Enzo. So, let's say Enzo wins the final HOH. It's him, Franzel, and Cody. Enzo is bringing Cody 100% because he's in that guy's thing. Enzo's going to be scared. To me, it really if Enzo wins the final HOH, it doesn't matter who he brings with him. He's not winning the game. Enzo wins that final HOH. All he's doing is putting another 50 grand in his pocket. He cannot win the game to me. Franzo is going to beat him because she's a winner who got to the end. And Cody is just going to per be perceived as the one who did the most in the house. I, I really want to hear the delusions these people spew when it's time to answer these final two questions. Because I really want to know what these people think they did in the game. Because I'm watching it and I don't really see anybody doing anything but... I guess what you should do, which is ride on your alliance, they had a, a powerful alliance who won a, every HOH. So you can't really get mad on that. But I want to see what they tell the jurors that they really think that they did. I really am interested in what question David would answer. Who would David vote for? Because he really don't know the game. But anyway, moving on from that. We'll talk about that more when we get to the jury, when we get closer to that date. So to me, Enzo, if Enzo wins it, he's just getting 50K. Now let's say Nicole wins that final HOH. To me, that's something Nicole can put on her resume. She's won a couple of HOHs and she won the final HOH. Who would she bring? I feel like Nicole, you will have to bite the bullet and cut Cody to win and bring Enzo because you can beat Enzo. If you sit up there next to Cody, the people in the jury, you already have people that don't like you. Davon ain't going to vote for you. Davon can probably convince David and Kevin not to like you. And you're probably going to have, 
I don't think it's going to be, I don't really think it's going to be a bitter, too bitter of a jury. But you're going to have people like the Memphises in a vote for you. Will Danny, because Danny seemed a little bit salty that you stole her BFF, her big brother best friend, you know, because she just really thought it was her and Cody. I don't know. I feel like, friends, you will have a harder road than if you brought Enzo. Because at least Cody can talk that talk. Enzo really ain't got nothing to say. Now, Cody, if you, I feel the same way, if you win that final HOH, is you have to cut Franzo there. You have to say, friends, you want it. I want to win it. Go on, sit in the jury and vote for me. Franzo will vote for you. Friends will vote for you, Cody. You have to slice her throat at least the next HOH and sit next to Enzo. If you cut Enzo, you will be you will be doing, I feel like you will be doing the same thing you did when you cut Victoria instead of Derek. You opening yourself up to a winner being able to say she had it in so good with you that you ain't even sent her to jury when it was your time to. I really can see Franzo or Cody winning this game. It, I think Franzo is a better speaker than Cody. She'll be able to say things to persuade the jury. I really want to see the jury roundtable and see where people are swaying. It really seems like, as of right now, everyone, it, it's Cody's game to lose. I really feel like Cody can lose it by not getting rid of Franzo and really wanting to take her to the end. That's about it. It ain't nothing else to talk about. It, it's nothing else to talk about. Like, even this week, I don't want to see it. Now that I know who is HOH and I know who won the veto, I don't even have to watch this shit this week. <laughs> really, I don't. Because... I want France to go home. I'm telling you, I'm going to say it for the last time. I want Cody to eliminate Nicole Franzel because that will make me root for Cody to win the game. But I don't think he's going to roll the dice on Christmas some kind of way winning the final HOH. I don't think she would do it. I don't. But Christmas has been in, but she's been hurt. I mean, I don't know. I don't think Christmas can win it, but anybody could win it. He's going to get rid of Christmas because he knows in that trio, he's going to the final two no matter who wins it. I don't think, I, I don't think he's, it's Cody's game to lose. So anyway, get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about the scenarios. Who are you all rooting for? Who do you think Cody's going to get rid of this week? Are y'all watching it? Are y'all watching it this week? Do you really have to give CBS three hours of your time this week to see Christmas go home? I don't feel like I have to. I'm going to keep up with it so I can give you a review. But that's about it. All right, let's not make this longer than it has to be. I will see you all next week to talk about Christmas going home. If I, if if friends goes home, I'm going to be excited. It's going to be a good conversation. <laughs> All right, y'all. Like, comment, share. I will talk to you all later. Bye.